Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend, and I'm once again here on the MSC Magnifica. And I have done six cruises now on her, and this is coming towards the end of my time on the Magnifica, and I always put off my full ship tours until I can give you all the pro tips and things you need to know to come on board in the full walking tour. We're gonna walk through this entire ship. We're gonna start in the lower levels, which I am now on deck five, and then we're going to go up to the outdoor space. A few quick tidbits about this ship. She is a small ship, so she's coming in at about 95,000 gross tons. You're gonna have about 3,200 max guests that can fit on here, and she is a 2010 build. So let's get on into the full ship walking tour of the MSC Magnifica. So welcome to deck five midship. This is where you're going to find a few of your reception areas. So you've got your shore excursions. That's gonna be over here on the left. They're currently closed because we are in Nassau today. So everybody is out on their excursions. And then you're gonna have guest services over on the other side where they're able to help you with any issues that you may run into. This is a smaller floor. So decks six and seven gonna be much longer, but I wanted to still show you what all is down here. There's a few bars down here and then the main dining room. I like this space. Like they always have live music that they're playing. They're gonna have saxophonists, pianists, different people, but I sit up on the second floor there and I can people watch down below. You're gonna have one of your bars over here. And by the way, most of the bars on here will gladly make you a cup of espresso of any kind, but plenty of places to sit. Though one thing you may be noticing about these windows, they're optical illusions almost, like I think because of the thickness of the glass, the way that it's cut. Um, it's just really, really weird on the, what, what you see when you look at it, it's very distorted. Coming into their main dining room. It is a tight squeeze. They've got a lot of large tables here, so chances are, if you're coming onto the Magnifica, you will be sitting with some other people. But this is the setup of it. We've had a good experience. I've got friends on here. Um, and I even sat down at the table and the lady was beside of me was like, oh, I know who you are. <laughs> all right, so we are now at deck six midship. So if you walk all the way through here, you're gonna see the other section of the dining hall. Similar setup, but different color scheme. Coming back around, you're going to see the Remy bar over here. This is a good pre-dinner place. If you're going to the dining room, or Ruby, I should say, this is a good spot to come and sit. You know that these chairs over here are already my favorite to listen to, the live music. On board the Magnifica, you're also gonna have shopping. Surprisingly, for as small of a ship this is, there's good shopping that is available. And actually, the short excursions desk is up here. That's what these people are all inquiring about right now. On the other side, you're gonna have more shopping. And then down below, you're gonna have beautiful views of the water feature they have going there, the piano, and that's also gonna be where you have some uh, people talking. I do wanna call out these machines here. So if you come onto an MSC machine ship, you're gonna to need to register your card. You can do this through the app on your phone. I don't believe that it works through the website, but I could be getting that one backwards. But if you come here, tap, you're gonna register your card here. Keep in mind that with uh, MSC, you could be charged a foreign transaction fee. They do clear their accounts through Geneva, Switzerland. So be on the safe side, use a card that does not have foreign transaction fees just in case that happens. We've got the mini mall over here. So again, plenty of shopping on this ship. And this is where you're gonna get the knickknacks, things you forgot, your alcohol and cigarettes. This is my favorite bar, the Tapazio bar. Now, if you look at the Tapazio bar, the color schemes here, nice and orange. The bar here is large, plenty of seats around it, but I really enjoy coming in here, hanging out. They've got country music on this ship playing at least, but if you're looking for the best people watching, you can come over here to the right-hand side, up against the wall, and you'll see this hallway here. So one thing you'll notice, on the other side, you've got more shopping with your handbags. Then you've got the logo store on the right, so if you're like me and you collect ship models, that's where you're gonna go, but the hallway does not carry through on that side of the ship. You have to be on this side of the ship to connect to the forward section. So now we're gonna come into where the conference area is. So they do have conference rooms if you're looking at hosting an event here. You'll be able to see it is very small. It is only those four rows of chairs, but they do have a center here if you want to utilize that. And then this is the Tiger Bar. This is the one you're gonna hear the most about when you come on this ship because it is massive. This is also one reason why I like the Tapazio we were just in, because it feels a little bit more intimate. It is smaller. The Tiger Bar, as it is aptly named, for all the decorations for its tiger prints, for tiger stripes. Tigers everywhere in here, in the carpet. It's a lot, you all. Um, but it actually seems to work on this cruise ship. But they're gonna do the entertainment here. They're gonna have game shows, they're gonna have karaoke, they're gonna have all sorts of things going on in this space. 
The Tiger Bar bar is also your coffee shop during the day. So if you want to grab a coffee, most people don't know this, but you can sit down. They'll bring it to you. They make a good cup of espresso here. Good afternoon. So you can definitely check that out. If you're looking for photo opportunities, you're going to have this beautiful staircase over here. They'll also be taking professional pictures here as well. Looks like the door here is closed. So we'll walk over, give you a quick view of this. And if not, I'll just pop upstairs. If I can get through, we were doing an all crew drill. So it looks like that is not a place that we can get through. But I do want to show you the poker room. So they have a card room on here as well. Looks like it's currently being used for an activity or event of some kind. Small little piano over in the corner. But if you want to play cards, this is traditionally going to be the place that you're going to want to come to. Coming back out, I'm going to walk up the stairs because they have this connection on the other side of that door on um, deck six forward we are now, you're going to have the theater. So here we're going to quickly swing up. Looks like some people are getting a picture. Give them a second. Oh, hi there. Come on up and you're going to see this gives you access to the casino. So if you wanted to come up, we're now on deck seven forward. You're going to have the casino here and yes, I can get through this door. So let's show you the theater real quick. Hopefully they don't have anything going on, but we'll give you a quick peek at what that looks like. All right, so far so good. One thing that I'm going to call out, they've got bathrooms here. Here's the one outside of the theater entrance. If you're looking at this logo, what do you think that is, male or female? On this ship, it's tough to tell. The female one's very apparent. The male one, on the other hand, you can't really tell what it is. And so you find people treating them more like unisex bathrooms. The bathrooms also do not have um, urinals, interestingly enough. So it doesn't really matter too much. Whew, I'm out of breath, you all. Too many stairs. So here's the theater. It is a huge theater. Do not sit in the far left. Do not sit in the far right. Sit in the middle down below. You also want to make sure you're not going to be sitting in the balcony because they've got these metal bars. If you sit in this chair, guess what you're going to be viewing the entire time you're in the show? That metal bar. So make sure you don't do it. The production shows here are fantastic. Highly recommend them, but go just under the underhang down below and you're going to have beautiful views, good sound quality, and you're going to enjoy the show a lot more there. All right, so let's open this leaf first. Push down, kick. There we go. So coming back out, I will show you there is your debarkation deck is here as well. They don't have a ton of chairs out here. I don't know that they have any chairs out here actually. So this is a fun spot to be at. You're going to have a cruise ship Disney on the other side and it is a nice walking track, but there is no actual seating out here for you to use. Coming back in, we're going to cut through the casino. It is closed at this moment, so I'm going to leave the camera running. It is a smaller casino. It does not have many um, card games, but it does have an electronic roulette wheel. And you're going to see that there's a few tables in the middle. There's no craps here, which I know is a big issue for one of my friends that is on board. You're going to have your own bar inside of here, as well as your cashier and cage, where you can get money out and donate it to the casino. Walking towards the back of the ship now. So here's the female sign. Let me just show that to you. Keep your eyes open. These are not well lit. Sometimes they're very incognito. They're also outside of the main dining room. I think those are the toughest ones to find. But you'll see over here we have Oriental Plaza. This is the specialty restaurant. It is the only specialty restaurant on board. So I'll give you a quick view of what this looks like. I've been in here a few times as a diamond member in the Voyagers program with MSC. I do get a free dinner in here and it's been really good. It is a sushi type of bar, but the price is fairly reasonable. Coming back over, we're going to have another small room. So you've got the card room here. So in addition to the poker room, you're going to have the card room here. A little bit of a tighter squeeze, but you see that the tables are really set up for cards with the felt on top of it. Continuing to walk towards 
the aft or the rear section of the ship. You're going to have a lot more in here. This is going to take you back to that foyer that we've seen a few times. The, the grand foyers is called in some, sh some ships Centrum. I forget what it's called here. I'm going to stop and pause just because I think this is really cool. They've got a lot of memorabilia on this side and the other side of this wall about the MSC Magnifica. Some of the awards that she's won. Um, it's just a pretty cool spot. So we are back in the Centrum area now. You'll see that there is more shopping on the other side, in addition to the Cuba Lounge. So it has a cigar bar on this ship. I think it's one of the few that still have a cigar, cigar bar left on it. You're then going to have the future cruise. So if you want to book another cruise, this is where you're going to come to get those onboard bonuses for doing it. If you want to settle your account in cash, this is the machine you're going to look for. Notice it is significantly bigger than the other card registration portal we saw on the lower floor. This one you can come, you can insert money, and you can settle your account with cash if that is what you have brought on board. There are no seats on this floor though, so we are on deck seven now. There are no seats for you to be able to listen to the folks down below, but if you want to stand here and take a look at it, you can certainly do that as well. Again, I think deck six is the best place if you're going to be sitting and listening to the music. Future crews, once again, I don't think that those spaces are well utilized on this ship, but they do have them. Coming through here, you're going to have the sports bar. I can't say that name. La Limpa Piari. I can't say it. Um, but this is your sports bar. It's also going to have live entertainment. You will see on this ship there is live entertainment just about everywhere. So where this bobsled is here, not sure the tie into the bobsled, that's where your musicians, guitarists, singers are going to be at. You do have two sides here so you can cut through. It is a very large bar and it's well done. I mean, they, it is a walkway, so you're gonna have a lot of people coming through, but they've got some nooks, some places you can hang out and plenty of TV. So if, there is a sh if everybody else wants to watch one show and you're from a different region and wanna watch something else, you can certainly do that here. There's, there's plenty of TVs to go around. You've got a billiards table you can also do. I'm not sure if that is a paid table, I want to say that it's complimentary. You're going to have your photo gallery. So if you want photos, I'll actually swing to the other side. That's where more of the magic happens with the photo gallery. You're going to be able to come and talk to these folks and get the package. I know a lot of you coming on MSC enjoy getting the photo package to remember your experience. They're putting the pictures together from yesterday. It is not digitized, so you do need to look at the boards and find the pictures that they would have taken of you. We're now going to go into La Amatista. I will say the names on here, it's taking me a while to learn them. And as you see, I don't know all of them. I'm going to back up quickly. Did you see the restroom there? Can you see that there's a restroom there? There's a restroom here. Like it's, you can't really even see it or know that it's there unless you just happen to glance over. So this is a really cool spot. There's a lot of activities that happen in here. It's, I, love, I actually like the purple and the color schemes that they've used on this ship, the tigers and the oranges. I think it looks really good. This is going to be where they come for smaller shows. I've seen comedians in here and some other like karaoke activities they're going to do in here. But it's also just a great place during the day to escape. So we are in Nassau today, and you see that it's empty. But there's plenty of natural light. If you have an interior room, come in here, grab you a seat, get a good book, watch something on your iPad. There is plenty of space to do in here. But this is a really good size room. Large bar also has a coffee station to it. So if you want to grab some coffee here, you can certainly do that as well. All right, so that is the end of deck seven. We were all the way at the forward section of the ship. Now we're going to jump up to deck 13. Yes, this cruise ship has a deck 13. Other than like others, if you haven't checked those out, you know, there's, 13 doesn't exist in every cruise ship or even every hotel. It does here. We're going to jump up there now and show you the outdoor space. All right, welcome to deck 13. We're in the forward section of the ship. So you see we are in port today with Freedom and Lord of the Seas here in beautiful Nassau. And we're at the gym, which has some of the absolute best views of this cruise ship. This gym, however, is teeny. There is not much here. You're kind of looking at all that it has to offer. You're going to have one bench over here as well. Everything will be in kilograms. So if you are um, needing to convert those, make sure you're doing the math goes up to 22 kilograms, which is going to come in at around 50 pounds. No spin classes, no Smith machine, no cables. It's kind of bare bones. You've got your spa over here. 
where you can check in with all these folks. And then on the other side, you're gonna have the thermal spa, which is actually really, really nice here. It's quite large. And you're gonna have the spa attendant over here who's gonna be able to make you all these amazing little Aria drinks. You can order those. Your drink package works here as well. And he's got some unique products that you're not gonna find anywhere else on the ship. Coming back out, this is the hallway. So let's talk about it. This is a place that I've sat because there's been sometimes nothing else to do. Meaning if you were doing a mustard drill here on board MSC, they shut down everything. Show you the quick, that's where you're gonna get your hair cut in the spot that you have a section there. I need to do that if y'all saw my hair. It's a little long right now, but to my point, they shut down everything during the mustard drill. There is nothing you can do. The bar is gonna get crowded because there's gonna be a last call for the bar and people are gonna show up in droves to get their drink. And then it's gonna close for at least an hour to make sure everybody goes and registers. Uh, so you have to watch a video in your stateroom and then go actually find your muster station. Let's talk towels on board here. So there is a towel station here, but they will give you two towels or actually plenty of towels in your stateroom. Make sure you leave those in your stateroom, the orange ones, bring them back to your stateroom. That's where you're gonna wanna make sure you store those because they will charge you, I think it's 20 or $25 if you don't bring that back. Here is the only pool. So you've got a kind of kiddie pool over there. You've got the main pool here and then you've got two hot tubs beside of it. It stays pretty crowded when there's a sea day or when, you know, everybody comes back to the ship, it can be very crowded. Here's the outdoor main stage. This is where you're gonna find the white party. So make sure you are wearing a white outfit for one of the nights of your cruise to come up here and dance under the stars. It is a really cool spot and they do a great job. This is probably the most well attended party on the ship. We're gonna go to the nightclub in a little bit, but it's not um, as vibrant of the energy as what you're gonna find here at the white party. You're also gonna have some Zumba classes and some bago tournaments, things like that, if you're into those. Coming into, I guess it's their solarium. I feel like I use terms that I learned on other ships, but I don't know what I would actually call this area. But I will call out that they have amazing ice cream here. If you want Vinci ice cream, it is a New York name brand. I think it's French maybe at the end of the day. I've only seen it in New York, but this is probably the most popular bar on the entire ship, La Bochetta. They're gonna have coffee, they're gonna have frozen drinks, they're gonna have anything that you really want. And you're gonna have, once again, a pool, small pool. And there's, like most cruise ships, there's no side. You have to hold on to it if you're gonna be there. With hot tubs, on both sides of it. There is good seating on both sides. So one thing that I do like about MSC ships is they're gonna give you plenty of table options. So oftentimes I'll bring my food out here, I'll bring my coffee out here. This is where I'm gonna hang out at these tables, especially if I wanna get cell phone reception while we are in a port somewhere. I will come here and it works really, really well um, because you're up higher and you can pull from the cellular signals a little bit better. Again. Watch this video here on why I, don't why I don't buy Wi-Fi on the weekend cruises. There's no need for it. Coming into the Sahara Buffet. Now it is lunchtime, so we're gonna make this quick because um, it's gonna be a little bit crowded, but this is probably the most controversial place on the entire ship, but I have enjoyed the food on here. I think that it is a good spot. You'll see that here's your main walkway. Over on the left-hand side, you're gonna have a where the tables are and another walkway. If this section gets really crowded, you wanna make sure that you're walking in between the tables. It's a good way to escape. Pizza here is known to be extremely good, so make sure you are checking that out. They used to have breakfast pizza, but they didn't have it this time, so I may have told a few folks that they had breakfast pizza and they did not. Lunch is going on full-blown on the other side, so I came in on the wrong side, but I'm gonna switch over just to show you. Now, this is it's really weird here. So we just left the Sahara. We're now going into La Oasis, I think is how you say this, but it is the other buffet. They have two restaurants, but they're really just one. Just think of it as Sahara and it is the same thing because I can't tell where one starts and one ends. Interestingly, the drink fountain here is one of the uh, only ones that you can get to. So it is, I shouldn't say the only one you get to, the last one you get to before you go to my favorite spot. So this is where I hang out and grab my drinks. You're thinking have your salad bar. I wanted to show you all the food so you can make up your own mind if this is something you'd be interested in. I think they offer a lot more options than you're gonna find at other places, but it is, it's been good food. So I've had a few of these pieces already today. I came in eight earlier so that I'd have plenty of energy to come and show you all the full ship tour. Again, plenty of seating around here. If you come all the way to the back, by the way, the food, 
You see this hallway is really, really long. Don't stay at that far section when you first come in. Please keep walking down. It is the same food and it is a lot less crowded. In the back, you're always gonna have where they do custom things, whether it's pasta, it's Indian. They've got all sorts of things that they're gonna be doing here for you today. It is an Indian dish. And you've got a bar here that honestly, I don't think many people remember that it is here. So you're not gonna find a lot of people utilizing this bar, but so if you want a quick drink, good spot. You're also gonna have a kids section. So if you want some ice cream, this is where you come for your soft serve ice cream. You're then gonna have cupcakes and cookies and things that kids are gonna like. Pizza, hot dogs, chicken fingers, all that great stuff. And they got a cute little entrance here um, that I've seen on a few other ships too. But let's walk outside to my absolute favorite spot on the ship. And that is gonna be the outdoor space. So if you're coming out here, I highly recommend it. Number one, it stays less crowded. This door, for the most part, stays automatic. If it does not open up for you, hit the little blue button there on the side and it'll pop open. So coming out here, this is absolutely my favorite spot to sit. Beautiful views, you get to see all the ships. If it's during the day, you get a nice breeze and it is really, really nice. I'm now gonna walk up to deck 14. There's staircases here in the back. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a shortcut. It looked like there may have been an event going on here before. We'll check that out and see if that is still going on, but this is T32. Perfect, and they are all done. So here is your nightclub. It is directly in the aft section of the ship behind um, or above the buffet. So you see that they did have a conference here, people speaking, but that is your dance floor. Really cool spot. They put videos on all these TVs that you see up here, but it is large. Um, you know, I don't think that it stayed as crowded, the white party, is where most people are going to be hanging out at, but they've got good seating. And I will point out, they've got some bowling. So this is something that other MSC ships have as well, but you can always come here and play bowling or play bowling, what? do bowling. I don't, I don't know what the phrase is there, but that's where you're gonna come and do bowling. Swing over to the other side, just to show you the full T32. By the way, if you want pictures, really good lighting coming in from here for selfies. Coming over here, you have the Junior Club. This was certainly an afterthought, right? So this is where they turned a section of the ship into a kid's section. So if you do have kids, this is where you can send them. And then you've got your Young Club, which is 12 to 14, 15 to 17. They've got different programs tailored to the different ages. And I think we can get a quick image in here. There is nobody in there, so there is their Little Ones Club, so that is for the three to six year olds, it looks like. All right, so deck 14, we're in the back of the ship, the aft. We're now gonna walk outside. And it is hot today, you all, like we're under heat index. So apologies if I lose my breath even quicker. While we're here, I'm gonna turn quickly and go up one more flight of stairs and then we'll come back and I'll walk to the other end of the cruise ship. All right, so plenty to do up here. You're gonna have your basketball complex up above. So if you wanna play basketball, you can come and do that here. You've got these chairs. We have not talked about the chairs yet, you all, but I hate these chairs. This is probably my worst feature on board this cruise ship. The chairs have one position. They have this funny little thing that you can put above your head. I personally just don't like it. But if you wanna get away and sneak away like I do every now and again, my introvert side comes out and I don't wanna be around people. This is where I'm gonna to come to, is this back section. Beautiful views, you can see the wake, see the allure of the seas beside of it. So you see how bigger the allure of the seas is than the MSC Davina. That one's coming in at about 225,000 gross tons. We're coming in at 95,000 gross tons. So a little bit different. But we're still bigger than the MSC, the Mickey Mouse ship over here. Coming back over, you're gonna have the same stuff on this side. I think MSC has done a really good job on normally what you have on the left side, you're also gonna have on the right side. This ship, sometimes people ask me, hey, what is there to do for kids here? Kids for this ship to me, I think is an afterthought. I don't think that it's a good kid ship because as you saw the kids club up there, very segmented. And I just don't know how many people are actually using that. And it all feels like it's an add on, it's an afterthought including the little kids section up here. So this is another spot where you can come hang out if you are a kid 
they do have limited things that you can do. They don't have, you know, a lot. But there's plenty of kids here. There are definitely people here that are um, bringing their kids, but I'd say that it is a lower amount. But there's a few things in there. Show you the Disney one. If you ever don't like the movie that's playing on your ship, check out the one beside of you. In this case, I can hear whatever the Disney movie is over there that they are playing. Um, so you can always do that. I can't quite hear the one from the Carnival ship just yet. Walk into the solarium again and show it to you from the upstairs section. So on this ship, unlike some others, there's nothing on the other side of this wall. In some places you can go into the yacht club. This one, because of it hi its height or its size, does not have a yacht club. But you can see the solarium pool once again, and they're going to have some games up here that you can also play. Again, great people watching from up here to see what's happening down below. But you've got some foosball tables as well as ping pong that you can come and play up here. They do activities, so this will be hosted from time to time as well. So if you've got kids, make sure you're watching the cruise compass on everything that there is to do on the MSC ship. They do use the MSC for me app, and it's not the best, you all. Like, let's be honest, their app is pretty horrible. But it gives you the, it gives you the details. It tells you what you're going to need to know. Um, so make sure that you're checking that out. Here again are these chairs. That's all they do right there. That is, th this is how it's supposed to be. Um, but I don't think most people use it that way to block the sun on their face. And here's another view of the pool. I will say people come on here and they complain about the size of the pool. It is teeny, right? But it's because we've gotten used to cruise ships like this one over here. This is a small ship. She's going to have smaller amenities, including just two pools to choose from. And the one out here in the sun is going to feel smaller. Even when I came here, I was like, oh my God, that's it. That's the only pool. Like this place is going to be packed with people. And it, it will be. But keep in mind, it's also packed with half the crowd of places that have a lot more ships. Um, so that's the upside to it is you don't have that many people. I'm actually going to have here is what, 3,300 we said? So it's not going to be horrible by any stretch. Some good shade here. I think people forget that you can come and get out of the sun sometimes. Give you one more view from this direction of the full length of the ship. You can see the pool. You can see the stage. This is top 16. It is the exclusive club for people that have the Aria package. So if you're in a suite, if you're in an Aria room, this is where you're going to be able to come to. It's going to have increased chairs. If nothing else, consider doing this for the nicer chairs. You have your own bar service up here. Hey, everybody. And you're going to have your own hot tubs. So it is probably 105 heat index right now. Don't recommend the hot tubs, but they're probably definitely warm. You're going to have all sorts of little nooks. And they've got them designed. So even though this is at the forward section of the ship, you're not going to have a lot of breeze just with all these windows that are here. You can have little eggshell crates here that are at an additional price. If you want to rent one of these, they are not first come first serve. You're just gonna need to pay a little bit of additional money to be able to enjoy the comforts of those. Coming around to the other side, you'll see that it simply repeats. Beautiful views of the outside, freedom of the seas. And you're gonna have the same thing over on this side. So you've got another little section where you can sit, hang out, your hot tub over here, and then more of a shaded area. Interestingly enough, they do have a smoking section up here as well. Um, so if that is something that bothers you, you don't have to leave here to get to that location. All right, so that is the full walking tour of the MSC Magnifica. I had to come back to the room because as you can see, it is hot outside today. Um, and so I wanted to get a glass of water, but it is a wonderful ship. It is a small ship. If I could tell you anything about coming here, keep your expectations in mind. I think our expectations of what cruise ships should be are a little out of sync these days because we all think that they're like the one I'm looking at on the other side of this camera. The Allure of the Seas at 225,000 gross tons, but this one, 95,000. It is more than half the size of, that we're sitting beside of. And so it's not gonna have all those wonderful amenities. It's gonna have one special restaurant, one outdoor pool, one solarium pool, four hot tubs, not much for the kids, but it is what you make of it. I have never met a cruise ship that I don't like, and I have really enjoyed my time here. It is nice, it is relaxing. The itineraries have been wonderful. So if you're looking at MSC Magnificent, keep that in mind and you're gonna have a wonderful time. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon. And if you wanna join me, make sure you're checking out the Group Cruise newsletter below to stay in tune with all group cruises that are coming up.